Hey everyone, this is Rob over here at Boondwape and hope you're having an amazing day. So today I'll be bringing you all another old school video and this one's going to be my top 7 things I wish I knew going into the league. So I've been playing it since day 1 and I've made plenty of mistakes and hopefully this will help you avoid those. So if you do enjoy this video and if it does help you out then feel free to follow along. I've been putting out progress videos of my account over on the channel and it covers everything we're about to put in this video. So with that out of the way, let's jump into it. So for number one, we're going to be talking about tasks, tasks, tasks. Yeah, that's really hard to say. And also that should definitely be your focus for the league. Whenever I first started playing, I went all in on skilling right away. And I even got my fishing all the way up to 76 so I could get sharks on the first day. Honestly, I could have spent that time way better. I feel like I kind of wasted the first day. If I had just spent all of my energy trying to get as many tasks done, as many renowned points as possible, then I definitely would have set myself up for success in a much better way. Not only is this going to make it so that you have much more renowned points, you can spend them in order to unlock new skills or new uh, quests, new areas. On top of that, you also get some really big experience boosts, so it's honestly not a good idea to put a lot of time into any of your skills early on. As far as number two goes, we're going to be talking about the starting area of Catherby. So I've spent some time in Catherby, but definitely not too much, probably just a farming run here and there. I didn't realize that it's actually the perfect starting place for this league. Not only does it have some really great low level, medium and high level fishing, it even has low level spots for farming, cooking, thieving, woodcutting, and also some really great vendors if you go and talk to the people on the dock. They have a lot of odds and ends that you're going to need for tasks early on. On top of that, it's close to Ardoin, which is one of the better cities. You can easily get to Remington if you're a little more comfortable starting off there. And it's for only 30 gold. I'd recommend doing that over going there from Catherby as it can be a lot more expensive. And on top of that, Ardoin actually has some of the best spots for leveling up your thieving and getting food early on for your account. And rolling right into number three, we're going to be talking about unlocking quests. So as far as the league's mechanics goes, you can actually spend renowned points that you get from completing tasks in order to unlock a bunch of different quests. The quests come in bundles sizing from anywhere between three quests all the way up to the larger quest bundles of seven to eight quests. And they can be for easy things such as getting to Fossil Island or much bigger things such as Song of the Elves. A lot of these are going to be honestly great purchases early on. They're going to give you access to a lot of stuff. For example, the Corind one can be pretty expensive, but it's going to give you 100% favor in all the houses, giving you access to the Farming Guild, Tithe Farm, the Woodcutting Guild, and so much more. But if you don't have that many points, you can unlock smaller ones like Fossil Island, which is going to give you a great place if you feel like AFK combat or starting your birdhouses early. So make sure to be on the lookout for all those quests that have some high value unlocks. But speaking of quests, we can go right into number four, which connects directly to this in its quest discounts, as I like to call them. So while quests, I think, are really worth unlocking early on, it's great to also do some quests. For example, Waterfall Quest is in a lot of these bundles, but it does give you at 12 times XP over 300,000 experience whenever you complete it. That's an easy 1 to 54 in attack and strength really early on, and that could be huge for your account's combat. So utilizing quests like that will not only build your account really fast, but also give you some discounts whenever you decide to unlock the quest bundles because it's actually going to take away some of the cost of the quest bundle if the quest you've done is in the bundle. For instance, if you do Regicide or Morning's End, then you're actually going to get a discount on Song of the Elves. Those might not be good choices as they are kind of long and you might not want to do them. But if for whatever reason you enjoy it, then you can actually save yourself quite a few points if you knock those out early. And for number five, we're going to be talking about the wilderness. So the wilderness is pretty intimidating, honestly, in my opinion. I usually go out there and I'm pretty on edge. But what's nice is you actually don't really have to worry too much when you are in the wilderness. Of course, there is still that chance you die. But what's nice is in leagues, it's all a PVM death. So you can either go back and get your gear or you can just talk to death and have him retrieve it for you. 
make sure to remember that all your consumables do get dropped so if you have a bunch of potions or if you happen to be farming some black chin champas all of those are dropped on your body and the black chin champas will run away or any chin champas you have will run away so try not to die with too many of those on you so it's a lot nicer a lot of people also will not pk you just because usually it's not worth it there's going to be that occasion though so Make sure to bring your best gear just in case someone decides to find you and fight you. For number six, we're going to be talking about unlocking skills. So this is something I mentioned kind of early on and something that I probably regret the most and that's not spending more points on unlocking skills early. So by doing this, you're going to give yourself access to more skills, which gives you access to doing more quests, which allows you to upgrade your skills that much easier. Not only that, by unlocking these skills early, you can easily recoup a lot of your points. And also they made the skills a lot cheaper now, so this is gonna be easier than ever. This is gonna let you do some of the easier to do tasks, such as the agility or the rune crafting tasks, really early on and build up your renowned point stack so that you can unlock the more expensive quest areas and that'll really get the ball rolling really fast for you. That's something I'd highly recommend looking into, so try not to hold back on unlocking stuff too early, as honestly, you eventually are going to want to unlock all of them. And for the big number seven, honestly, this might be the most important part of this entire video, so hopefully you held on to the end. But that's going to be saving your grinds until you're at least tier five. So in leagues, there are tiers one through seven, and you start on number two. Eventually you build your way up to number three, four, and then five. And what's so important about five is it gives you an experience boost from eight times experience to 12 times experience. That compared to your starting five times experience is completely insanely massive. You're gonna get so much more experience after you hit tier five that it's honestly not worth putting more than anywhere between 50 to 60 levels in any one skill unless you really enjoy it or it's something that's going to benefit you later on. This also affects all of your questing so maybe hold off on the bigger quests until you can get tier 5. Honestly I would say that you probably should wait on a lot of stuff getting really high level like 90 plus until you're tier 7 but that's going to be really hard to say because once you are tier 7 you get a 16 time experience return. But honestly, that's really, really far in the future and most people probably won't get there. So I think tier five is really reasonable for holding off on a lot of these big skilling adventures. It's going to make stuff that's really hard to do, such as mining hunter and crafting a lot easier. I found those to go kind of slow, but once I got that tier five, that boost was really something I needed. It lets you go up those skill levels much faster and move on to easier grinds. So the more experience along with you likely having much better set effects that you can choose from really build it out so that you can get a ton more experience later on in the game and it really does become a snowball effect where you're starting off kind of slow and it really does build up into you getting a ton of experience a ton of tasks and renown points done all at once so if it does seem a little bit slow early in the beginning I recommend keeping it up and eventually you will get those really big gains you've been wanting to see and hopefully you'll be able to unlock bosses sooner than later assuming that's what you want to do along with all this one more psa before i get out of your hair just so everyone knows they did reduce the price of everything in the game essentially so most bosses have been reduced in price and every single skill has been cut in half so if you're holding off on Erlor because it costs you 30 points then it's definitely not a problem anymore as you are only going to spend 15 points and everything that you did spend points on before that's been reduced you will get a refund for so you don't have to worry about holding on to your points and saving them up for something that's really important to you so that's going to be about it for this video if you all enjoyed it please make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe thanks for watching i hope you have a great day and i'll see you all very soon